what the Christian slaveholders, and I say Christian slaveholders with quotation marks around it, I think we all have to keep that in mind. What the Christian slaveholders did with their Bibles was to take Paul's descriptions of the New Testament world. Slaves, obey your masters, which was descriptive of the state of life, and to take that as prescriptive. Therefore, masters may have slaves, and slaves must obey in all situations. So this was a type of literal interpretation, and they could claim that they were being faithful to Scripture, that they were interpreting Scripture literally. Now, of course, to do that, they had to ignore all of the minor prophets and everything that was said in the Old Testament about social justice. And so, of course, it was a very selective literalism, which we still see in Christianity today at times. So it was a principle of interpretation which was good, but the principle was distorted in order to support slavery. And those people who are not able to see their own desire for power, their own desire for domination, take these powerful principles and twist them in order to keep that power. And this is what we see in the slaveholders. They could not recognize that their interpretation of scripture was tied to their own wealth, their own prosperity, their own desire to maintain power. They were so blinded by it.